Hi everyone, this is Callie Respizi, Collections Manager at the Bennington Museum, coming to you again for another tour at 10 here in storage. And today we are looking at a couple of maps in our collection. We are going to be opening a map show in uh, later uh, this month, and it's going to be very exciting. And these are two maps. Only one of them is going to be in the show, but I'm showing both of them to you because they're really interesting and there's some really interesting things uh, going on between them too. So most of the maps in this exhibit are going to be maps of Bennington. These two are maps of the United States that were made in Bennington by young women who were attending school here. Um, this one is by Amanda M. Armstrong, and this is by her sister Harriet. Amanda made hers in 1821. Harriet was a year younger, and they were probably going to school either at the Union Academy in downtown Bennington on Union Street, or possibly in a small school uh, operated out of somebody's house. I, there, in New England in general, there was a basic elementary education um, offered through public schools throughout the Northeast, and in New England and Vermont in particular. Um, but something like this was made at uh, a institution of, of higher learning. So her parents were not just sending her down to the local schoolhouse down the road, the one-room schoolhouse. They were sending her to a private uh, school where they were, you know, paying tuition fees. So this is not something that everyone had access to. This is uh, this sort of thing that um, women of means were, were able to make. And I, young men were often also sent to academies and they might be taught things like surveying or practical map making draftsman skills. Young women, on the other hand, were making maps like this in order to create something decorative and to show off their lovely penmanship. Um, the other interesting things about these maps is that uh, in the 1820s, the United States is still a very young nation. Uh, the War of 1812 had only ended uh, just uh, less than, than 10 years ago, which had nearly destroyed the, the country. So this idea that the United States is not just a scattering of you know, Vermont up here, Georgia down there, Illinois out in the corner. But these different states are together in one cohesive country. This is something that is an important idea. And by creating maps like this, uh, the schools are trying to really inculcate this idea of patriotism and this idea that the United States of America is one single country. So these were both probably copied from the same source. But one of the things that I find very interesting about them is that one of these girls seems to have been a much better scholar than the other, and it wasn't Amanda. Um, so if you look at these, she there are some, some misspellings in here. She uh, misses a letter in North Carolina in particular. And she also, she might have been practicing her penmanship, but she also has a lot of little smudges around the edges. She has some, some ink drops here and here. Whereas Harriet's is quite a bit cleaner. Uh, Harriet doesn't seem to have any weird typos in here. And she also has added a lot of little details. She has names for the rivers. She has Martha's Vineyard in Nantucket. Um, she even added Lake Memphis Magog um, up in Vermont. So she has a lot of little extra details that her sister did not bother with. They were probably the same age when they made these maps. Um, I believe Harriet was a year younger, although I've had a hard time finding Harriet in the, um, in the Armstrong genealogy. I believe she died young. Both of these young women um, did die relatively young. They never married or had children. The map was inherited by, both of these maps were inherited by their older brother and um, passed down through his family before being given to the museum. So they're a really interesting example of something that young women in Bennington were making and how it's an example of how maps were used as tools to teach people and to um, promote American values in a young country here in Bennington. So hopefully you come see the show when it opens. There's going to be a lot of great stuff and I think you're going to like it.